These small lenses are one of my absolute favorites to use in video production. And the best thing, they're only $50 a pop. The characteristics they produce, they give a very special effect to the shots and the story you're creating. But there are a few downsides as well. Let's have a look at some footage first and then we'll go over to the review of vintage lenses. I'm talking of course about the Helios 44-2, it's a 58mm lens with an aperture of 2.0. In the most recent years this one has become one of, if not the most famous vintage lens. There's a particular nice bokeh that it produces and it's called the swirly bokeh. It gives kind of an interesting look to your footage and it kind of reminds me of anamorphic footage. The 44-2 is a Russian copy of the Carl Zeiss Biotar 58mm f2.0. This Biotar lens also has a swirly bokeh effect. However, this original lens itself is rather hard to find, especially in good condition, and is on the pricey side. So then the 44-2 comes into the picture. Very sharp and nice sturdy lens with the swirly bokeh effect. In this review I will talk more about this Helios lens and why it has become so popular in the first place. In this review I will explain the Helios lens further and look a little bit more into detail on why this lens is so in demand right now. It was around the middle of 2020, I just began my freelancing career and the lockdown was just announced. This resulted in me not having money to spend on expensive camera gear. but the cheapest solution for me to experience and uh, create with different kind of lenses were vintage lenses. So I looked on the internet, as we all do, on more information about what these are and why, why they are so cheap in the first place. So I looked on a local secondhand website and I found out that there's a guy who lives three minutes away from me who collects and sells these lenses. I think I spent around 80 euros in total on the Helios lens and I took the Pentacon 50mm 1.8 with me. These lenses come with an M42 mount, which aren't uh, pretty common in most recent cameras. Therefore you have to use adapters. I bought a dummy uh, Fuji X adapter and a Canon EF mount adapter. And these work fine. I think I paid like $5 each for those and they do the job perfectly. There are several versions of the Helios 4042 and you can find these by looking at the symbol that printed on the front of the lens. There are the Valdai series and that's actually the lens I have. These are the lowest in quality and you can recognize these at this symbol at the top here. Now let's talk about some downsides about these lenses and the downside is that the lens that I got is the aperture control doesn't work anymore. The lens is always at wide open so it shoots at 2.0 but I don't really mind this um, as I'm shooting mostly in widest aperture possible and it also gives a very special effect when doing so. There's also a lot of lens flares going on, especially when you're shooting in a backlit situation. But if you're looking for that special kind of effect, that kind of dreamy look, then it's all good. If you're looking to match your lens with your cinema glass, then rehousing might be a very good option for you. Iron Glass Adopters does a fantastic job by rehousing the Helios 4042 into a quality rugged lens with excellent focus rings. This will cost you around $1,000, but if you're planning to use this lens on 
lots of shoots, then this might be a good investment. To be honest, uh, with this fantastic characteristic, this gives you a unique lens in your arsenal and makes you stand out from other videographers who use standard lenses, for example. So if you're looking to buy one of these lenses, go check out eBay, go check out Facebook groups on vintage lenses and secondhand markets. Be sure to check the aperture control. Um, so don't make the mistake that I made, uh, but I don't really mind. Um, I got this one for dirt cheap, so it happens. Don't expect these to be in mint condition because they are old. If you want to keep them, keep them in a light area because UV light kills fungus that might be growing into one of these lenses. All in all, this lens is a one of a kind and a must have if you ask me. These swirly bokeh lenses are great for videography but photography as well. Highly recommend. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll see each other next week in another video. Bye bye.